be closed. All the campgrounds within the park were closed. All yeah. the sightseeing stuff within the park was closed. And so it was just uh, a way of getting from point A to B. It was, it was. It was know, on fire. It was on fire. It yeah. surely was. It was very, very smoky. It was automatically just giving me a headache. Pretty. Oh no, automatically there was those little goats. Yes. Oh. They are goats. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> I felt kind of bad for them because they were probably fleeing the fires. Yeah. And it was a little nerve wracking for us too. You could hear the helicopters, you could see yeah. the uh, emergency fire vehicles. On the side of the road, for sure. It was diving further and yes. further into, into smoky, smoke. yeah. So. It was getting worse and worse. I mean, my eyes were just watering. Welcome back to another episode of Two Up and Overloaded. I'm Marissa Notier. And I'm Tim Notier. And we travel around the world on our KTM 1190 motorcycle. We've been all the way down to the very bottom of South America. We've been halfway up through Africa. And now we are currently on our Alaska journey. We're coming back down from the very top of Alaska, down through Canada into the United States. Yeah. And in the last episode, we actually went through some wildfires. The skies were just completely blackened out with all yeah. of this wildfire smoke. It was like Mordor. <laughs> Definitely very Mordor-esque. It was like Mordor. Yeah. Ooh, it, it was foreboding. But we were able to pass through that, but unfortunately it wasn't the only wildfire that we would come across. As we made our way south through central Canada, our main objective was to get to Jasper National Park. We love nature, and if you love nature and you're in Canada, Jasper National Park is the perfect place to go to because it is supposed to be so, so beautiful. And since we love riding on gorgeous roads, there is a road that goes through Jasper National Park all the way down to Banff National Park. And connects the dots of some pretty amazing places. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the Icefields Parkway. Unfortunately though, as we got closer and closer to Jasper, we started hearing from other people that there was a huge wildfire raging in Jasper itself, in the National Park and in the town of Jasper. Yeah. Jasper, the town itself, was actually had no electricity. Yeah. And was out of commission. That's right. I mean, Jasper was just completely closing itself off to everyone. Um, they were in a state of emergency at the time. So we headed towards the town of Hinton. about 40 minutes outside of Jasper. You knew that there was forest fires around. Yeah. Um, but it was nice enough for us to camp. So we are in Hinton, which is, I think, 40 minutes or so. It's not far from Jasper National Park, which was our destination. But as you 
can see behind me, it's pretty hazy, pretty smoky out. There is a wildfire happening in Jasper right now. I don't know if you can see, but there's like mountains out there, but it's super hazy. And then the sun looks all red. And we figured that the closer we got to Jasper, which doesn't have like electricity and is having a bit of a crisis right now due to the fire, um, the worse it would get. So we decided to stop here for the night where the air quality is still doable. And we are going to camp here, right next to the side of the road, but it's very nice still. And it was great weather besides the haziness to the sky. And we found a really nice campground. We've got some nice shade from the trees. And best of all, we have wonderful, wonderful weather. And they even have Wi-Fi here. So we are good. It was all right. It was an <laughs> RV park with an open field that you could camp in. And yeah, I mean, so I guess. Did. You know, uh, nice with our enough. limited options, yeah. it was really kind of a diamond in the rough this is for true. us. Well, the good thing about RV parks is that, like, the, the, the bathrooms are rarely ever used by anybody because when you have your own RV, yeah. you poop in your own RV and you take showers in your own RV. And so we had this huge little building that was public, but it was, my, yeah. you know, we didn't have to lock no doors because nobody was going in there except the cleaning lady. But we still lock doors. We lock the doors, just to be clear. We don't live on the edge. I live on the edge. But Marissa, you might live on the edge. Marissa right? locks the door. I lock like the door in the bathroom. So we had a good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have woken up to this highway, um, but it was really quiet all night, which was great. I slept very, very well. It wasn't too cold, the weather was perfect, and today, again, the weather looks very clear, except for the ever-present haze to the sky, though I think it looks a little bit better than it did yesterday. We were kind of asking around to see if Jasper was completely closed. We couldn't get any good information, and we decided we were just going to go and see what everything was all about. And so we packed up that morning and headed off to Jasper. So yeah, we headed into the park. There was no fee since you all couldn't of that see was the park. Totally closed. All the campgrounds within the park were closed. All yeah. the sightseeing stuff within the park was closed, and so it was just uh, a way of getting from point A to B. Yeah, we headed in, and it was it was it was know, on fire. It was on fire. It yeah. surely was. It was very very smoky. It was automatically just giving me a headache. Pretty. Oh no, automatically there was those little goats. Yes. Oh. They are goats. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh my goodness. Hey. <laughs> when we first got in, there were, were they mountain goats or mountain sheep? They were cute little dudes they with were horns. They were cute, yes, no, right on the side of the road. A pod. I want to call a group of goats a pod. I felt kind of bad for them because they were probably fleeing the fires. Yeah. And it was a little nerve-wracking for us, too. You could hear the helicopters. You could see yeah. the uh, emergency fire vehicles. On the side of the road, for sure. It was diving further and yes. further into, into smoky, smoke. yeah. getting worse and worse. I mean, my eyes were just watering. as terrible as it was to breathe and the headache and the eyes watering and everything, it was adding this really mysterious, beautiful aspect to these yeah. mountains.
it was kind of like you know a misty morning when the sun was yeah. rising or like you know those japanese paintings of hills that are all yes. misty and you know there's some red little calligraphy in the bottom right signed by whatever the artist is that's like the snapshot totally. of what we were seeing that day The sun was just shining through the clouds with these god rays. Yeah. And the water there, we could tell that on a clear day that water would have been the bluest of blues, just this glacial turquoise and there were little ponds and this river that we kept riding by yeah. and it kind of made us appreciate the moment for what it was it was beautiful it was in its beautiful own mysterious way right i definitely wanted to see it on a sunny day I yeah felt like i was kind of getting rough but it was also i felt like it was an interesting way to view it as well exactly you know? We came to this area where we got off the motorcycle and took a little hike along the Athabasca River. Oh yeah. Sun's coming out a little over there. There's like this kind of mountain range and it's just this awestruck, beautiful landscape with just a you know, little sprinkle of like, you know, a, a, a fog machine, you know, pumping yes. into the landscape. Making everything blues, different shades of blues, all yeah. those mountains layered over each other. So we passed by a waterfall that was really oh, pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was called Tangle Creek Falls. clearing up a little bit and we stopped by this lovely waterfall. Finally, as we keep going down the Icefields Parkway, we see more and more traffic. There's still haze all over the place, but we realize that we're getting out of the worst of the yeah. fire area. Suddenly, we come to this valley that was like out of a dream. Glaciers just pouring down the mountain every direction you look and it it was so stunning all of these jagged peaks yeah. piling on top of each other It was about then when we were about halfway down and we said we should wait a day or two and wait for the, the, the weather to clear up and, and come back. I said let's enjoy the day and this is beautiful and absorb mm -hmm. it for what it is but I definitely want to come back. And I told Tim that 
even though this was getting into fall and the weather was getting colder and colder, if we needed to wait this out yeah. to see this road see again, good little you know, that is fine camp. with me because yeah. this was turning out to be one of the most beautiful roads we'd ever been down. You say that like every video. No, but this was for real. <laughs> Boys this got was honor. for real. Girls uh -huh. got honor. After the Columbia ice fields, already my jaw was just dropped and you, the road just curves down these steep passes. get gas and to have snack at the one place where oh, you yeah, really right can stop. Yeah. I don't miss gas stations. Now. No. <laughs> no. It was an expensive little yeah. hidden nook. They knew that they were the only ones with peanuts around. That's right, but um, we had a good snack there. Yeah. And of course the views there are gorgeous. Candyman, Candyman, <laughs> Candyman. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Ah! Eating all the dead things. Oh. That was good. Dude. That's scary. Yeah. Things were getting clear and clear as our as we made our way south. But I also noticed that the more south that we went, the more touristy things got. There's a little section of like actual highway byway that connects Banff from uh, Jasper, and we hopped on that. And then you can go see Lake Lake Louise, yeah, and Lake Moraine, which are Jeez, really, Louise. really famous lakes for being yeah. super, super beautiful. And we searched a Google image of them, and. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We're definitely going there. And so, <laughs> we, yeah, we get on the bike and we make our way towards that. Go. But man, it's like going from the remotes of Alaska to, yeah. you know, like the Disney world of, you know, the tree is life thing, you know? It's <laughs> yeah. like, whoa, there was just traffic and traffic. And then there was parking lots that had been full since seven o'clock in the morning that yeah there were several parking lots that turned us away yeah and i'm like we're on a full. motorcycle dude i need like i know i but know we're on a big motorcycle <laughs> that's like, true we're like a smart car <laughs> we're like a smart car a dumb bike I know it's like. <laughs> and you have to remember that we had just spent so much time in alaska and the most, in the remote. most remote areas and then coming through the yukon this was our first moment in many months yeah. that we had been around so many people in such a hot spot for tourism that yeah. it was full it was and overflowing with people too much from that smoky northern area of the park where there was nobody and everything was shut down. Yeah. And finding ourselves just completely swarmed by people on the side of a little lake, we realized, all right, this has been a long, long day. Really, really beautiful scenery, but we were getting exhausted. Yeah. This is such an intensely touristy area. Everything's gonna be booked. What are we gonna find? We're gonna have to find a place to stay for the night and we better start looking now.
you found a place called Radium Hot Springs. <laughs> so I was like, I definitely do not want to stay in Radium Hot Springs. <laughs> it seemed like there were some reasonable options in Radium Hot Springs. Yeah. So we headed down that way. Here we are in Radium yeah, Hot finally. Springs. Open this, um, like the hot springs part sounds very attractive, but the yeah. radium part does not. <laughs> well, that's what makes the springs hot. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. And we knew we were in radium hot springs right away when we saw the hot and springs. And we started to fizzle. No. <laughs> when our skin started to, to melt off our body. We were molting, folks. No. <laughs> But there was a cool little canyon. Oh yeah, that was nice. Yeah, to get yeah. there. And then it, you see the hot springs and then you're in this really cool town that's it's, kind of like tucked into the side yeah. of a mountain. And it's almost kind of, you know, like a fancy little snoozy place. Snazzy, you know. Was, <laughs> snoozy or snazzy? Snazzy. <laughs> right here. Well, this is our hotel room for the night. Look how cute. But we finally we found, found a, place. a nice little place with a lovely woman, with uh -huh. a lovely husband who had two lovely children. Well, regardless of that, it had a kitchen <laughs> and it had Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, I couldn't believe it. It was a whole little apartment. It was so yeah. cute. I loved it. And look, I found a burner so I can make some soup. They even have little pots and pans. So we went to sleep that night, you know, with questions in our head of if we were going to head back north, if we are going to go further south, you know, south, south, I'm saying it right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we're just waiting for some kind of sign to, to let us know which, yeah. which would be, you know, the, the appropriate decision. And yeah, the next morning I would say we definitely got a sign of what we should do. So. Yes, we did. Oh my God. Look at what's right outside of our door. So stay tuned for, for the next one. That's right. And I hope you liked this one. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Ding, ding. And hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. <laughs> Too many dings. Too many dings. Just hit it once. Just hit it once. Don't hit it twice, because then you'll unsubscribe. I don't even think it goes ding. No? <laughs> no. I, yeah. yeah, hit that bell, because then you'll be notified of our next video. This is true. And, and what can possibly be happening at the beginning of the next video? <laughs> what omen do we this see? This is true. Thank you so much. Peace. Bye. And entourage. Montage. 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 Why is it montage? Nothing. It's nothing. It's me I going like, it like this. It's just montage. montage.